Hey, welcome to my uh, ramshackle video uh, on some of my frustrations with the uh, current auto trading scripts and uh, station management. Um, I'm sorry if the voice on my mic isn't kind of coming through so great. Um, got a replacement headset that I've got coming through. Uh, so, and I don't do these videos professionally, so I'm not really, you know, editing. I'm just a fan of the game and I'm putting this video out there. Um, Maybe in the hopes that it does catch a dev's eye or not, or maybe some community people get together and maybe we can figure some of these things out, or you know maybe you get a lot of support for this and um, it will catch their eye and they'll listen to some of these recommendations that I have. But to give a little background, I'm playing on uh, currently on patch 1.32. Um, this is a new save after patch 1.3 when they did a big huge change to the economy. I figured it'd be a good time to you know suck it up and just take the loss and start a new game. And I have over a hundred hours playtime in this. So that being said, um, I first want to go to my player information. I'm worth 250 million, right? Uh, the only reason I bring that up is because uh, I busted my ass off early game, really trying hard to mine crystals, get trades done from point A to B, doing it manually to maximize profit, all that crap. You know, I was really, really trying hard to work my way to station status and dump, as you can see, 180 million into um, my stations, right? But the problem is, is my net worth was not 250. It was it was closer to 300 million. <laughs> I'm, I've been losing money since I decided to morph my station that you're seeing in the background here into a closed loop. It's literally caused me to lose around 50 million. Um, and that 50 million is not from the cost of building additional modules. That's just an overtime loss of the manager being completely idiotic, right? And I was just hoping maybe it would stabilize out or something would happen, but it's not. It's just been a steady decrease, so I'm probably going to literally remove uh, the stations because I was making more money. Remove the closed-loop parts of the station that produce components or wares for the end product, in this case, Claytronics. I'm probably going to remove all that stuff, sell that, because I'll instead of then, I'll go from losing money to probably like at least a 500 percent increase if i had been doing that i bet you i'd have been at like 400 million or more by now right and so that gets to the question something is severely broken if that's the case right so first thing let's roll user error right let's look at my three stations as you can see i have dedicated uh, miners of both uh gas and or mineral um, I have trading ships assigned to both, and I have a, uh, just, a, you know, a small, uh, defensive medium-class ships, right? Uh, and this is our research center, you know, our player HQ. I've not really done anything with that. That's not really part of my economy at all. Um, but let's look at my main center. So, as I said, my main center is Claytronics, right? I am losing money on this. Now look at the manager's account and I'll filter by a week. Uh, as you can see, this influx of cash is me, right? I'm dumping money into him because he needed money to buy stuff. And then this is when I wasn't paying attention and he's just like do 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 putting along and doing nothing. Like at most I'd gone from when I artificially increased him up. I've gone from 9.2 million to, what, 9.7-ish or so, and he's losing money again. Starting to drop down. Maybe it'll spike up, maybe it'll sell some of these. But I'm, I'm not generating the kind of money that I should be, and it's completely moronic. And I think there's some critical problems here now. I want to say I love this game, so it probably sounds like I'm really, really hard on this game. I love it. But I think that there's two changes right here right on the screen that can be made that would make station management a hundred times better. And please, God, I hope an Egosoft member sees this and is like, hey, that actually makes sense. Right now, our station managers are idiots when it comes to, let me look at something a little bit easier. Um, buying, knowing when to buy and sell uh, stock, right? And the only controls that we have are to either completely turn off buying and selling together, right? 
or we can turn it on and then if it's off right and we're allowing buying and selling we can't really manipulate that number because if I turn this and I say hey I want manually control it's already bottomed out and if I try to make it a one so that I never buy it like nobody's gonna ever buy it from me for one if I put it for one credit enter it doesn't care it automatically puts it at the bottom price like and he will actually buy it there'll be people that will buy it for 181 so in reality it's an illusion we don't have control over this not really um, so we should have an option for both of these and even better is on here you can see there's like a little line and I don't know I think that's a graphical issue you can see it's kind of like the UI got fractured off there but that's killer because it leads right into what, uh, an amazing thing that I think they should have that line should be a movable line and that is the break point for your manager to say I will buy goods if it's below this line and if it is over that line I will sell them and then you as a player should be able to move that line right yeah, you know, because you never know, maybe your miners are going to be doing really good, some good deals, whatever, and you'll have an overabundance, and you're like, whoa, dude, chill, we really don't need any of that stuff, I don't want to turn it off in case it tanks, but let's really relax, because you don't need to fill our coffers and empty your, your pockets buying shit. You kind of follow me? So each of these, as part of their option, should have two things. You should be able to turn off buying. You should be able to turn off selling on or off. There should be just one generic button. And there should be a slider for a breakpoint for buying and selling. Right? Um, very, very easy, I think. I, I don't know why that would be a problem. But as you can see, I have a fully closed system and I'm losing money. Um, and I've actually told them to stop in these cases because... Uh, I don't, you know, I've actually restricted because I don't need these anymore, right? And then over here I'm telling him, hey, dude, sell this shit. Um, silicone wafers. This is something I've been kind of watching manually. I'm probably at the point where I can go ahead and start selling these, big question mark. But I wanted to always make sure that um, uh, the Claytronics factory was, you know, they had the uh, stuff it needed to to keep going. Uh, I've I've locked out the important things. I've been trying to really kind of manually watch this, but I'm still losing money, and I should not be losing money. Um, the other thing that in a it fixed itself uh, was a lot of people were reporting um, the Pyranid Wharf. Pyranid Wharf it uh, was just stalled, broken, and the reason it is is because um, this is their storage. They were now they have they fixed themselves and. Um, community member in one of the forum posts actually posted on this and you're absolutely right uh, what it was was they had queued up a ridiculous amount of like stupid ass recon fighters and other stuff right off the bat almost since the beginning of the game and as a result they were completely stalled and for some reason traders were not trading with them so I literally had to take my other factory up here um, so let's go to property owned and we'll go to my secondary factory and instead of making this you know like a drone component factory or some other kind of cool thing i was like Fuck, i gotta break, i gotta fix the economy right my my own economy because i didn't know what kind of ramifications would come of that wharf not being able to produce critical their only hop wharf not being able to produce fighters and medium class ships right like that's that's huge so and I didn't want my save to become broken so I just manually was like alright I'll bite the bullet and so over here um, if we go to logical view you'll see that uh, I basically set up for two engine part factories started pumping out engine components and after I sent them about 3000 they just auto stabilized and now they're completely fine they're remaining topped off they're good to go and now nobody's buying my engine parts right so all the money and time spent and the infrastructure to build this thing and it's also losing money so um <laughs> but i understand there's a patch coming out that'll fix that but uh again uh this this logical overview is pretty illogical it needs to have um 
an option to choose one or the other or both if you want not just both on off and you need to have a breakpoint slider that that would solve so many problems right there uh, so I, I hope this gets some traction and I hope this isn't drawn to, you know I didn't draw this way too out but you know I hope it helps and I hope it gets into the right eyes or you know maybe you guys agree with me or have some input but anyways, leave them below. I'm not used to this. Take it easy and um, happy gaming, guys.